Hi there everyone, Guardian E here with another Azure Lane news update video to covering the upcoming maintenance on the 19th of May and what we know is incoming shortly thereafter. So we are getting a brand new prelude event for the Royal Navy, Call to Arms Royal Navy. Confirmed and set in stone, the next major event is going to be Royal Navy based and during this prep period, the four ships, Warspite, Sheffield, Renown, and Repulse will get boosted EXP. Now these ships will also clear certain event missions during the actual major event that goes live that will count towards obtaining the chat frame for the currently unnamed large scale Royal Navy event. So now's your opportunity to max limit break these ships for those missions and take advantage while you can. Now the Prelude will also bring with it a new Prelude story event, which is quite exciting. We don't always get these stories with Preludes in the past, they've been relatively rare. Uh, we are getting the Letters and Travels mini event that will provide the limited gear damaged speech manuscript. And this will also give a peek into the next major incoming event, so very exciting there. Drake has a blueprint completion plan incoming and that will go live after the maintenance, providing an easy way of getting 30 bonus Drake blueprints just by doing regular research projects. You will obtain those as bonuses on top of your regular research rewards. And this will of course be accompanied by the Drake Fate Simulation, which promises to give a nice boost to her abilities, so something to look forward to there. Now for the big one, there is the Chinese 5th anniversary livestream scheduled for the 22nd of May on Bilibili. They have provided a few teasers to hype everyone up, a bunch of silhouettes along with some dates. So here are the silhouettes that were provided and as you can see, the 26th is likely when the next major event is going to hit and they have confirmed that we will be getting an HMS UR. Yes. That's right, a Royal Navy UR, they've done it, finally, and people can lay their fears to rest. Uh, furthermore, they teased what looks to be a seasonal skin that will go live on the June 1st, so that might just kind of tease what the theme is going to be for the Chinese Anniversary skin set. And they also, of course, provided a silhouette teasing a new Vow skin for June 9th. Now, spoiler alert, for those who want to be surprised, who do not want to be spoiled, go ahead and skip ahead or, or turn away or pause the video or do whatever you need to. Uh, the Vow skin was supposedly leaked. Now, it's not 100% confirmed on the source, um, but it does seem likely that the website was data mined or, or something like that because the Chinese Anniversary website is currently down and has been down for most of the day. Uh, but this image, made its rounds on social media, a very, very pixelated image of this new Vow skin for New Jersey that will be incoming, so certainly something to get excited about. Uh, let me know in the comments below who your guesses are as far as the new HMS Royal Navy UR or who the new skin is that's going to be revealed, what the theme is going to be for the upcoming event as well as the event skins themselves. Uh, as usual, we will be covering the live stream on Sunday to Monday, so if you are interested in seeing a reaction and a recap to the news as it goes up, uh, please be sure to subscribe so you are notified of that when it drops. As one final little side note, Admiral Hipper's ASMR will be available on the 20th on the DL site. Um, I'll have a link down below to the tweet with the store page. And uh, as a promotion, it will have 20% off at 1320 yen, which is around $10 or so, 10 US dollars. So if you are interested in picking that up, you can pre-order that. So yes, yeah, certainly a lot to get excited for with the maintenance and then the live stream and then the reveals and then the event. Lots coming down that is going to be quite hype, I am sure. And as usual, I think we're just going to close out this video with some daily pulls. So let's go ahead and swap right over to the banner that is live. All right, well, as usual, let's send off the video with some daily pulls. And of course, we do have the limited time rate up where the Imperial Tragic Comedy did return to the War Archives or are being dropped into the War Archives. So we have a limited rate up banner. So we did do some dailies on this. Let's see if we can grab some Zaras, some Polas, some Latorios. Take all of the above. Let's finish all and see if we get... Some delicious, delicious pizza boats. That is the goal for today. It would be nice. I don't have any spare... I don't think I have any spare copies of Zara or Pola for that matter. So I would take them without question. Oh man, we are getting dry. No no pasta, no, no 
pizza? We're, we're going hungry? We're going hungry today? Is that... Oh, no! No, 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 that's no good. Well, we're just going to do two for today. That's disappointing. That's disappointing. I was hoping for a little bit of... A little bit of sauce. I wanted a little bit of sauce! I, and she gave me some sauce. She delivered. Thank you, Pola. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for being... Uh... Delicious. Anyway, we got our Tupola, which I think is a great way to end things. Uh, I am super excited for what is incoming as far as the live stream is concerned. And if you, of course, are excited as well, uh, be sure to hit the like. Let me know down below what you're excited for, what you're most anticipating. Be sure to join us on the Sunday to Monday for a reaction and recap of the live stream event and reveals as well. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Azure Lane content. We thank you all so much for watching, for taking time out of your day to spend with us. We really do appreciate it. And until next time, let's protect those waters.